Can I, can I just pile yeah. on the, the Jared Kushner thing I think is important because um, there's been so many accusations that well, Hunter Biden has received money from foreign governments. Uh, and I thought one of his most powerful lines was when he made it very clear that none of the business dealings that he ever had were with any government entity. And he pointed out, unlike Jared Kushner, who received $2 billion from the Saudi Arabia government as soon as he left office when he was the point person on Middle East policy. We all noticed, I think, that there were some uh, Republicans nodding their head when uh, Hunter suggested that it would be worth investigating Jared Kushner and his $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. So I urge my uh, Republican colleagues, Chairman Comer, uh, to open up a legitimate, legitimate public corruption investigation, unlike this sham, on Jared Kushner and his $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. Well, hold on one second. Yeah. Hunter himself suggested that investigation? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. He, he raised the question, he, he drew the distinction between what he had done in a business world with independent businessmen versus foreign governments, which he did not do any business with, unlike Jared Bush. And it invoked the name at that point. Yes. But, but let me just say something about this, because uh, I said to Chairman Comer at the very beginning of his tenure as chairman, I said, if you want to do a serious investigation into the problem of influence peddling as it relates to foreign government, let's do it. And we can do it in a nonpartisan way where we can look at all of the real problems. And they didn't take us up on that. We ended up releasing our own report, which I recommend highly to you, called White House for Sale, about nearly $8 million in foreign government emoluments that were pocketed by Donald Trump and that we have documented receipts for um, during the course of his administration. And then, of course, there is the case of Jared Kushner, who set up a company the day after the Trump administration ended and then proceeded to collect $2 billion, $25 million a, a year approximately, in management fees from the Saudi National Fund. And remember that the Board of Directors, the Board of Advisors of the Saudi National Fund said, no, don't do it. He doesn't have any experience. He's not qualified. And they were overruled by Mohammed bin Salman himself. And remember, there were all kinds of favors that were extended to Mohammed bin Salman, including the cover-up of his assassination by dismemberment, drawing and quartering of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, the Washington Post journalist. So if we, if we, if we want to look at the serious problem of foreign government influence in Washington, let's do it. We've been saying that from the very beginning, but we are off on a wild goose, uh, goose chase um, on a complete tangent at this point, and nobody in the room can even identify what the alleged high crime and misdemeanor is. And so I, I think that the mention of Jared Kushner today did have uh, a resonant effect, certainly on members on our side of uh, the, the table, and I think also on the other side of the table, as Mr. Goldman said, a number of people were nodding and saying, you know, essentially it looked like they agreed that that's a serious issue. If we want to look at the problem of foreign government penetration in the political culture of Washington. Can we just 